LED locations. Hi, I'm Robert Osborne. Quincy Jones has been a musical force not only in the music world but in the movie world for the last six decades. Our last movie, The Pawn Broker, introduced Quincy as a composer of Hollywood movies in 1965. And for the rest of tonight, we have more examples of the work he's contributed to cinema. And there's no better person to join me to talk about Quincy Jones and his career than the man himself. So welcome back, Quincy. Thank you. Good to have Pleasure you there. Pleasure to be with you. Thank you. Next up is one of the biggest movie hits of 1967, certainly. It's In the Heat of the Night, a powerful film about racial tension in the South, with Rod Steiger and Sidney Poitier giving two of their best screen performances and brilliant direction by Norman Jewison. Now, assisting in the story and tension is Quincy's fantastic music score. At what point in the process do you get involved with the making of the movie? You, you sit down for spotting. The spotting session is first. That's for the musical director and the director. That's to decide where music starts okay. and ends. And now, is that sitting, is very important. sitting down with the script or with the no, finished with film? The film. Okay. Oh, yeah, with the film. It's the most important move you can make, you know. And it's doubly important if it's a musical like The Wiz, because everything is shot to your music, you know. Right. But uh, the synchronization is so important because, number one, Imagine we are having a, a, a tight, close shot of on one, one human being, interior shot, and there's music for that. Then they go outside, and there's hundreds of people, and it's exterior. You can't have the same music, you know, it's right. too intimate, you know, and it's internal, you know, because it's an interior going to an exterior. And uh, so you get used to all of the, 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 the craft of, new, of filmmaking quick as mm -hmm. a composer, you know. Because you have to get an overview of the whole film, how it's shot, you know, and the story it's telling and everything else. But those sprockets do not move. It's the same every time. So you have to make sure it's synchronized. And you have to justify the structure of the music so it, it sounds like a piece of music, organic music, not just, as Spielberg and I used to call it, emotion lotion. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. it is emotion lotion. Right. Music can make you feel whatever you need right. to feel in a movie because music, film music is all about tension and resolution. That's what it's about. That's psychologically, that's what the music does. It mm -hmm. reinforces all that stuff and leads you into the emotion, as I said, motion lotion. So yeah. how long about does it take to do a music score? Three months. Three months. It should take you, but I did Getaway in 10 days. I was at home one morning and I heard little pebbles on my window pane and I look out and there's McQueen and Ollie McGraw out in front of us <laughs> throwing pebbles in there and he wants me to do the score to get away over again in 10 days. That means compose it, record it, wow. mix it and go to Todd's for the, for the you know, when you put dialogue, right. sound effects, you know, the, the final dubbing, you know. And boy, that's I said, I do not want to be getting known for that, doing scores in 10 days. Right. That's not cool. Yeah. Johnny Williams, too. Johnny Williams gets three months, you know. Yeah, but yeah, you well. did it. Yeah. Well, let's see our next movie here. Here's the movie Academy Award voters named the Best Picture in 1967, with the cast that also includes Warren Oates, Lee Grant, and B. Richards. Here's Sidney Poitier and Rod Steiger in In the Heat of the Night. Mm -hmm. 